This is SportsCenter. Hey, I'm Mercer Roberto from the Bell Paddock. In case you can't tell from the sounds around me, we have officially begun race weekend. But we'll start on the ice because despite the feeling that summer is upon us, there is still in fact hockey to be played. And the wait is finally almost over with game one of the Stanley Cup Finals going down tomorrow. And thank God because discourse with all this time off has actually gotten out of control. One thing we did find out in the days since there's been a hockey game though, is that Drake is riding with the Oilers. I feel like that's not a surprise though. Placing a $500,000 wager on Edmonton. I mean, if he really wanted to make money, he should have been following our anytime goal scorer bets every Tuesday, but hey, we can't win them all. So either way, we will see if the Drake curse still exists. But credit to Drake for at least taking a dog here, as the Oilers are plus 112 on FanDuel. But the matchup we're most excited for is clearly Barkov versus McDavid, the game's best offensive player going toe to toe with the reigning Selkie winner. It really is the Stanley Cup hockey fans deserve. Well, now it just becomes an us versus them mentality, right? Canadians versus Americans, it's just kind of the way it's gonna roll out. So I have to side with my brethren on this one, no? And when it comes to Con Smythe, we just gotta ride with McDavid. Who doesn't love talking smack about your teammates and of course the rest of the grid? Earlier this week, we caught up with the guys from Red Bull and played a little game called Called Out. First question is, if you were all going out together, who drives? Who drives? He's not allowed to, so... <laughs> What's your wrong? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's, let's go safety first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He's really young, so he shouldn't be drinking. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. One. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Who would win in a foot race? In a what? Ooh. In a foot race. Are we talking 100-meter sprint? 100-meter dash, yeah. 100-meter dash. Definitely not me. Not me. Not me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Valtteri actually is running a lot, cycling a lot. <laughs> he's cycling, but he's built for endurance. I don't yeah. know if he's built for yeah. speed. You can the 50 meter. Do you do you I don't know anyone, so I'm <laughs> picking myself. Okay, okay. Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, upside down, but that's okay. <laughs> right. But we'll move on. Who has? I feel like Daniel should answer this one. Yes. Who has the worst taste in music? So, anytime we have flown. Sometimes we share flights with other drivers. <laughs> okay. I'll be playing music, and Nico is always telling me to. Just, just turn it down a little bit. <laughs> so I feel like he's not really. He was my teammate, and when I used to put my music, you know, to warm up, he will always complain about my music. <laughs> yeah, so. there you go. All right. I'm not a lover of music. Who's the fastest eater? Ooh, uh, who looks like they eat a lot? <laughs> I think me. I'm quite fast at eating. Okay. Oh, Done. yay. Okay. All right, all right. Last one. And this one's the, sushi like it's this one should be the easiest. Who drinks the most Red Bull? This called out will probably go down in history as the most indecisive answers I have ever witnessed live. And just a reminder, Tyson has you covered all things F1 all weekend. Practice is today, qualifying tomorrow, and then of course the race on Sunday. <laughs> Okay, so watching Max, Checo, Ricardo, and Sonoda all race at Circus Gilles Villeneuve was one thing. But what about watching the four of them in a soapbox derby put on by Red Bull? Well, that was just as fun. Relive it now with Don't Worry, No Spoilers in this edition of Roberto on the Go. Here we go, the hottest day with the hottest guys in F1 about to run a soapbox derby. We had Max greeting some fans. After they all had a practice run, they were escorted back up to do the real deal. Now we rush to get the interviews. Let's go. And I just want to shout out Danny Ricardo for being the absolute best to interview. He's definitely not boring. Oh. <laughs> no sense of humor, no personality, robots. And honestly, all the drivers were incredible sports. To be in this heat going down this hill in these incredible soapbox derbies was an entire vibe. Just listen to them. Again, I feel like we've been talking about it a lot this week, but I cannot stress how friggin' hot it was, <laughs> okay? Those poor guys in their suits! I don't know how they do this! <laughs> it's a huge one tonight in Calgary, as Bo Levi Mitchell returns to the place where he spent 10 years of his CFL career. And Bo really did it all when he was with the Stamps, as he was a two-time MOP and two-time Grey Cup champion. And he's coming into the season at 34 years old looking for redemption, because last year was truly a lost year. Due to injury, he only started six games, I had six touchdowns but threw ten picks, with both Hamilton and Calgary coming off disappointing seasons. As the Stamps went 6-12 and 12, and the Ticats 8-10. and 10. However, both teams did still make the playoffs, but were eliminated in round one. The Ticats are actually slight road favorites for tonight's game, as they are leading a point and a half in Calgary, with a total set of 45 and a half. And you can watch Bo Levi Mitchell's return to Calgary tonight on TSN. Coverage begins at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. And just a reminder, we're back with special shows all weekend long. So join us tomorrow after qualies.